Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Timwe Presents. Today we're going to look at a puzzle called Cross Pass by Epic Toast. And it is part of the Katane Puzzle part, uh, Katane Puzzle Pleasure, excuse me. And um, so when I opened this page, I immediately realized that I was going to need a grid to put the answers in. So I didn't scroll down. I've, I might have seen the first line here. But uh, anyway, so I went to Google Sheets to create this uh, recreation of it. And now I'm going to scroll down and put these clues in here and uh, and start to uh, and give, it, give them a go. I have a suspicion that these might not be easy. And I think I'm going to change the font here a little. Let's make that 12. Let's make that uh, 18. Yep, I think that's good. Okay, so Zawu's m module is um, set, and the verb set is certainly uh, a synonym of to place. Uh, let me let me just quickly center this. There we go. It looks a bit nicer that way. And let's also change this. All right. I think I'm also going to right align that. Uh, took notes about wire with initially electrical defect. All right, so these are cryptic clues. We've we've had a cryptic clue uh, puzzle before, so this is another one. Oh, give full house, e.g. that is hand. Right, hand to hand someone something is to give them something, and the full house is an example of a hand in poker. So that that's a double definition. Let's see what this is. Um, uh, so er uh, is often used as a synonym for other sort of filler uh, vocalizations such as er uh or um, but then it says after, so we need a boss module first. Now, unfortunately, I've been slightly spoiled by this, and I've been t told that the boss module in question is by Exish. So if I look through this, oh, there's actually quite a lot of... Uh, things and let's let's see which ones of these are boss modules. Um, uh, the stair, does that count as a boss module? Um, right, five letters. So it says there is something after the name of a boss module. So the boss module must be less than five letters. So I don't think the stair works. So let's actually look for very short. Okay, egg is that? Is that a boss module? I I'm not sure. Oh, pow. It could be pow. Um. Let's search for solve. Yeah. T no. Um. Huh. Let's see. Um. The boss. It does mention boss, but it doesn't mention about solving other modules. Maybe it is arm. Hmm. All right, well, let's take a look at the um, the clue and see if we can do something with POW. Because if we put er after POW, we actually get POWER. But I'm not quite sure how that fits the rest. Of, like, right would have to be a synonym. Oh, the right to do something is the power to do something. Okay, so that works. There we go. Starts to calculate other financial price with dollars for Royal Flush module. Okay, I'm, I strongly suspect that Royal Flush module is the definition here. And of course, Royal Flush is currently the record holder of the number of modules made, so that's going to be a bit difficult to find in the list. So I'm, I'm going to have to find uh, something else. It starts to usually means to take the first letters of at least two of the next words. So that would be CO. So let's see if we can find a Royal Flush module that... Um, Starts with CO. Let's sort these by name. Countdown. Uh, does that have 11 letters? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. No. Coffee bucks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So also no. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. It could be. Ca oh no, it can't. If, not if it starts with CO. Okay, so it's either coffee bucks or countdown, or it's not CO. Let's see. It starts to calculate other. Oh, I see. Financial, you also take the first letter of that, and then price is fee, and then dollars is bucks. So I think coffee bucks is correct, and maybe I miscounted the letters. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Yep, I just miscounted that, so that is the answer for that. Really bamboozled again, diffusals primarily pity. 
Um, okay, so primarily, again, usually means take the first letter of something. Not quite sure if here uh, the, the D in diffusal or the P in pity. Um, let's see if I can find a good synonym for pity. Because um, the, the, the enumeration here says that it's two words, three letters each. So that should be... Um, that should be noticeable in this list of uh, synonyms. I suspect that we're actually looking for synonyms to the phrase. Um, let's see here. Okay, so none of them have 3-3. Three, three. Bad luck is kind of close because it's 3-4, but um, yeah, feel 4 is another 4-3, but hmm. It really could be the definition. Bamboozled again is usually abbreviated BA. Diffusals primary, primarily, so that would be bad. And then three letters. So let's let's search for synonyms for really. Let's start with B A D. Um, nope, none of these do. Um, okay. Um, ah. It could be something bad. So it could be that the first three-letter word is a synonym for really, and then pity is the syn is the definition. So let's search for... Well, I've already searched for synonyms. Ah, but maybe I can find a three-letter synonym for really. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, no three-letter synonyms there. All right, let's skip that for now and see if we can figure something else out. Legends heartlessly taking mostly every switches. Um, it's hard to tell which part here is the uh, definition. I suppose switches could be the definition and it could be referring to one of the switches modules like colored switches which you know, that has seven letters but you know legends favorite modules are switches and hexamaze um, so mostly usually means that we take all but the last letter so either of taking or every every is more likely Ah, heartlessly means remove the contents of a word. So, for example, in legend, you could either remove just the GE and you get lend, um, or all but the first and the last and you get LD. But, so hang on, taking, ah, okay, so if we put ever, which is every without the last letter, if we put that in there, we do get, ah, ah, okay, so the apostrophe S here is considered part of the word, so it's actually LS with ever inside, and that gives you levers, which is a synonym to switches. This is pretty cool. Light found in elevator challenge. Um, light found in, ah, okay, so this is a hidden word clue, you can see that there is a five-letter word contained in elevator challenge. That means light. So that's the answer. First of diffusers reads, so dr, creates, makes, fears. Oh, dread. Okay, so dreads would be a synonym for fears. So how is this creates? Um, oh, I see. It's the first of diffuser, which is a D, and then literally just the word reads, and that just means that the rest is the uh, definition. Okay, we've got all of the vertical clues. Um, let's find out what the lengths are so that we can find appropriate places in the grid for them. Let's take the length of this. All right, now obviously this here is six. Um, so let's see where we have an 11 letter down clue. This seems to be by far the longest. So I'm going to go coffee box here. 
Um, then we have only a single four letter one, so that must be this one. Um, so that's those are both of those taken care of. Um, let's see, here we have a five letter one, which could be power or torch. And the other five letter one is this one here, which could be power or torch. So let's, let's mark these so, so I can uh, refer back to that later. And then the remaining ones are all six letters, so I will, keep, I will leave those unmarked. Um, all right, let's try 10 across, because we already have an F there, and we know that it will need to end in either S or D, assuming bad is correct. So let's take a look. Checked the answers never if I edited parts 8. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Um, checked the answers. Confirmed. No, no. That that F is in the wrong place for that. Let's see. If I edit it. Ah, okay. Never has five letters plus if I it gives us eight letters in total. So this could be um, an anagram. Oh no 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 no. Okay, I think it's verify. Ver verified because this is another contained clue. There you go. It contains the word verified and that is a synonym of checked the answers. Verified, which means that this must be something bad. Okay, so that's uh, taken care of. All right, let's see um, 11 across. Cheat carelessly to help learn cheat carelessly to help learn. Okay, so carelessly could be an anagram in indicator and cheat is an anagram of the word teach which means to help learn. So I'm gonna put teach here and assume that is probably correct and I forgot to mark verified, there we go. Um, also six across a set, right? So okay, I just realized that the down clues are all numbered. And I just assumed that I had to use the length. Oh my gosh, that's really embarrassing. So obviously this is dreads. Uh, this would be torch. Uh, levers would definitely have to go here. And power goes here. Okay, really sorry about that. I'm used to puzzles in which you have to figure out more stuff and it's not given to you. So I assumed that I had to uh, fit them in by uh, finding the common letters between the words. All right, screams is below around 50 points ultimately. <laughs> okay, I'm quite lucky I got that quickly. So in crypto clues, 50 is usually used, or any number is usually used to hint at Roman numerals. And the Roman numeral for 50 is L, and ultimately means take the last word, uh, sorry, the last letter. So we take the last letter of this, we get LS. Okay, so we have LS. Now, around can also be uh, a, um, a containment indicator. So we're looking for, uh, um, yeah, actually, in this case, I think we're looking for an anagram. I think around is an anagram. Well, anyway, oh, 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 I see, I see. Okay, so anyway, the, the answer is bellows. Okay, so it's literally just the word below, and the word below surrounds the... Roman numeral 50. So that's how you get bellow and then points ultimately is just the final s and screams of course is the definition. So that that would work. Elias's PC could be better than usual. Um, right, let's put bellows in. This is 15 across. Okay, I don't really need the coloring anymore now. Okay, uh, let's actually try this one here where the second letter is an O. Great, now retirement's finally solved with broken F rule. Um, it's hard to tell whether this is referring to the retirement module or actual retirement, in which case we might have to find a synonym of, of that, such as retreat. Ah, but the second letter is an O, so it could be solitude or loneliness. Um, neither of those fit. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Great. Now, could th we could theoretically have now and then something like that. Ah, retirements finally means take the last letter of retirement. So that's uh, either T or S. Um, uh, 
Um, so um, I'm thinking that solved. I'm thinking that broken is a uh, anagram indicator. Ah. Um, okay, so if we if we take this expression here, f rule, and anagram that, um, let's see. Um, it's it's very likely going to be something that ends in full, which leaves r e. So it has that r has to be here logically. So it's probably not now. Um, great, uh, wonderful. Okay, so wonderful would uh, definitely be a, a synonym to great, but let me see if I can uh, justify this. So retirement finally um, would have to be the D. Okay, so I, in that case, wonderful is unlikely. Oh, wait a second. Now is indeed here, but backwards. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the word now is literal, but retirement is telling us to, to write it backwards, so you get one. And then finally is referring to the word solved, so we take the last letter of that. That gives us the D. And then the rest of this is an anagram of F rule. So we get wonderful, which is an anag sorry, which is a synonym of great. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Right, let's take a look at clue number five. Took notes about wire with initially electrical defect. So took, took notes, um, something ED potentially, about wire. Now wire, another word for wire is cord, and we want to put something around that. Take notes, ah, take notes is uh, jot, but no, that doesn't fit. Um, all right, initially electrical defect. So this probably refers to taking the first letter of the words electrical de defect, so ED. Um, took notes, recorded. There we go. Um, Ah, of course, about. See, I was strung up by the fact that about is usually either an anagram indicator or a containment indicator, but here it is a synonym because you can say something is regarding something, right? So like this, this is an, a synonym for about. So we get recorded, which is indeed took notes. All right, then this and bad and 14 are the only remaining clues. Let's take a look at number nine, finishing part of large mission. Um, centurion, I guess, leads to excretion, um, expulsion, that's one letter too many. Let me just make sure I got the right number of letters here. Yeah, I did. Uh, that's eight letters, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that this has got to end in S-I-O-N. Um, finishing part of large mission. Uh, so apart from the Centurion, what other large missions are there? Praetorian uh, doesn't start, doesn't end with S I O N, and I don't know any others. Uh, leads to excretion. Let's see what synonyms we can find for excretion. Um, elimination is a bit too long. In fact, none of these end with S I O N. Huh. Emission. Ah, it could be emission. Oh! <laughs> ah, this is so clever. The word mission is just literal. It's not referring to the centurion at all. And the finishing part of the word large is the letter E. So that lead. Okay, that's, that, that's just really good. That is really amazing. E emission. Elias's PC could be better than usual. Um, let's see, PC is likely to be literal, um, and let's take a look at this one. We now know that that needs to be, a, oh, too bad, that's what it is, too bad, okay. Too bad is pity. Now, really, bamboozled again? 
ah, it, so if something is like, for example, really big, it is too big. That, that's probably what that's referring to. Okay, right, that leaves only this one. Elias's PC could be better than usual. Um, it's really hard to tell what part is the definition. It could just be usual or it could be better than usual. Uh, what's another word for usual? Something like normal or um, familiar. Typical. That does not fit this. He is in the wrong place. All right, let's find a synonym for better uh, that ends in uh, C blank, A blank. I strongly suspect that the last letter is going to be an L because of this um, common uh, adjective ending. You know, something like crucial, perhaps. Elias is PC could be better than usual. Yeah, I don't see how crucial would be a word meaning better than usual. So I'm going to try one look to, to see if I can find a fitting word that has three letters followed by C-A. Uh, crucial, oh, special, I didn't even think of special. Um, Oh my gosh, special is in fact an anagram of Elias's PC. Yeah, okay, better than usual is special, and could be is the anagram indicator. Okay, so we've got our clues, and now comes the difficult part, which is to figure out what to do with this, and uh, I have no clue. Since it mentions cross slash pass, um, I'm going to look at the letters where the words cross. I'm just going to mark them all as uh, colored, like, um, let's let's use blue, I guess. Okay, let's put some more blue here. There we go. O, E, L, C, D, T, S, O, F, let's read it in column, O, C, E, D, E, um, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there is some order in which we can read this that makes makes a word. Um, let's see. S-K, S-K, escape. Um, Okay, what are all of the crossing letters? We have O, E, L, C, D, S, O, T, F, D, E, C, A, E, S. That's not really in the correct order, but I'm just gonna run that through the internet anag anagram server. Uh, it's gonna take a while to find something. In the meantime, let's see if I can find something. Um, see, I'm, I keep thinking the word code here but then LS doesn't make sense. Uh, lots, I guess, code lots. Um, a lot of these crossing letters are um, alphabetically low letters. So we have A, uh, we do not have a B apparently, but then we have C, D, E, F, but then, of course, we have multiple, you know, we have multiple C's and we have multiple D's, multiple E's. So it's it's not that, it's not sorting by that. Let's see, exceeded, uh, lots and lots of anagrams, obviously. Um, okay, so, uh, hmm. All right. Let me see if there is any extra uh, clue in the clues. See, sometimes the first letter of the clues spells out something, but this one doesn't, so uh, at least not that I can see. Uh, the last letters? No. The last letters are... That's surprisingly similar to the word extensively, extensively, ex Expensive. Um, 
Now it's it's probably a coincidence that this looks almost like a word. Okay, um, cross slash pass. Okay, so some of the words are across. Let's take a look at those. Wonderful, recorded, set, emission, verified, teach, special, bellows. I mean, there must be a reason that these specific words are chosen. Oh, I think I... Did, oh, okay, that's not a connection. Um, I mean... You know, like, this here could, could have been any six-letter word that starts with L and ends with S. But of course, it's possible that the author chose this one because it's uh, because they thought of a cryptic clue for it. Hmm. Let's see. W what about the words that don't cross? So we have DRT. I can see the word two here, T W O. But I I really don't think that's it. Okay, what about if I look at the letters around each crossing, right? So this one here forms the word chore. But unfortunately, this one here doesn't seem to form a word, 2 and R. Let, let's see if I can find something there. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> that's not a word. Uh, that, that was a nice theory, but that doesn't seem to work. This looks like it could form the word reader if you use the E twice. Uh, but one tour, now tour, rot, now, that's not a word either. And also, what would this be? U-L-E. So I don't think that's it. That, that The fact that this forms the word chore must, must be a coincidence. Okay, I can group the crossing letters into words like the, the the four word the four letters here could reasonably form the word code and then here you could have the word lost here you could have the word fed which is the only three letter one and then here you have the word case code lost fed case yeah i very strongly suspect that this is a coincidence because this could also be aces and neither of them is in reading order or um, or vertical order. Hmm. Also, I could take the E off here, get caught, and then turn this into stolen. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just you know making random anagrams. So I, I really don't think that that the author wants me to do that. Right. It looks like I'm gonna need a hint. Potentially. <sighs> Cross slash. Pass. Pass. Cross. Pass. Pass. What What does pass mean? Uh, you could pass a module, as in disarm, or you could pass pass by something. Yeah, I I don't think I'm getting anywhere, so um, I'm going to ask for a hint. I will be right back. And we're back again, and the hint that I've received, we don't need this anymore, is um, think about what kind of uh, puzzle this is and how the title, like, compare the two. And this is, of course, a crossword, so if we combine the missing part, which is word, with the part that is there, we get password. And the letters that, uh, the, the crossing letters, number 15, and password, you know, vanilla password part, passwords are five letters each so maybe we can form three passwords out of these letters so let, let's try that okay um let's see so which of these could fit in there so none of the ones with a t could because they all have an h and we don't have an h uh, large learn there is no G, so it's not large, and there is no N, so it's not learn. In fact, I, I guess I can just remove everything with an N in it, because those are not there. Uh, there is no R, so we can remove everything with an R in it. Um, and there is also no U, 
So you can't have any of these. I'm starting to think that maybe these are password words with one letter missing. So for example, if you remove the U from could, you get cold. Um, but yeah, um, so there there is only a single L, so we can't have double Ls. And there is no W, and there is no P, and there is also no W. So none, none of the password words can be formed entirely. Um, let, let's put this side by side. So let's compare the uh, letters here with the passwords. So I, I surmise that could could be cold plus a u, right? Let's let's get rid of this. So cold plus u, um, and that would leave right. That would mean that these would be used. Um, and then what else can we form with one letter missing? Let's see. Um, case. Oh, case study. Case study. Ooh, could that be something? And then here, code could form. Uh, fed. Fed would be. Um, ah, lost and found. Okay, I think I've. I'm. I'm onto something here. Okay, so it's probably not cold, because uh, warm. Oh, unless cold water. Okay, so it could be cold. Uh, let, let me left align everything here and here. So it could be cold water. Um, and then it could be, what did I say? Um, case study. Uh, let's, let's put that here, case study. So case goes away. Um, and what, what did I say about fed? Um, or about, oh, lost. Oh, lost and found would use the same L as cold water. So maybe it's not cold water. Um, okay. So let, let's try lost. I kind of feel like I'm missing a letter, but... Um, okay, let's see. Uh, fed. Which one of these fits fed, and which one fits code? Let's see, the, the, the this word was always first, so we're looking for something with code. Let's see, code about, code after, code again, code below, code could, code every, code, f code first. Code first, I think that's the name of, um, um, yeah, okay, it's, it's some obscure principle in programming, so I don't think it's that. Code great, code house. Code large, code learn, code never, code other, code place, code plant, code code point. That is a concept in in Unicode. Code write, code small, code sound, code spell, code still, code there, code there, code there, code think, code think, code three, code where, which, code world, world, code wood, code code write. Yeah. Not quite sure. Um, and fed. What about fed? Fed. Uh, fed up with. <laughs> fed. Fed about. Fed after. Fed again. Fed below. Fed could. Fed house. Fed great. Fed first. Fed every. Fed large. Fed learn. Fed never. Fed. Fed small. Fed right. Fed point. Fed planned. Fed spell still. Fed still, fed still. Now, fed there, fed there. Fed three, fed where, fed which, fed world. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem to fit anything. If I read it the other way around, it would be def, def, but that's not really a word. If anything, it would be def, but we don't have an a. Okay, so if we did use the ones that we found, which are point, study, and found, like, what would that even refer to? Um, th 
Okay, so, um, code point. So if this is tab code, A, F, L, Q, R, then that would be an R, right? And then the next one would be lost and found in vague reading order. So found would be A, F, F, G, H, starting with R, H, four letter word starting with R, H, not likely. All right, and then study would be A, F, L, Q, V, V, W, X, not likely at all. And besides, there is no hint in the puzzle to um, tab code, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I'm uh, lost again, so I'm going to ask for another hint. And here we are back again, and the next hint we got was take note of the number of words in each clue. And of course, as soon as that was said, I noticed that the number of words in each clue equals the number of letters in the answer. As uh, <laughs> that is the kind of thing that you're supposed to notice in hunt puzzles, but I usually don't. So here's what I'm going to do. So in Wonderful, the O, the E, and the L are um, crossed letters. So let's see what words those refer to. The E, one, uh, that would be solved. F. U L rule. Now solve the rule. It would be amazing if the puzzle author managed to. Uh, yeah, okay, so recorded. The third word here is about. Aha, and that is a password word. And then this is initially. Now solved rule about initially. I'm not um, confident. Ah, but there, there you go. Place. Oh, okay. Right, I think I get it. I think I get it. So here's what we're doing. Here's what we're gonna do. It, it. If my theory is correct, then we don't actually need the grid. Um, technically. So I'm, I'm just gonna make this. All right. So here's my theory. My theory is that uh, we're supposed to extract the letter in the answer that corresponds to the word that is a password word. So I'm going to search for all occurrences of about, which here is the third, and, um, and that's the only one. Uh, after, that would be the second one, so that's an O. Oh my gosh, every clue seems to have... Yeah, okay, every clue has a password word in it. So which one is... Oh, great, great is the one. So that would be a W. Ooh, we get WC. That is not... Um, encouraging. But let's keep going. So this is the third one. Maybe I need to order them again in some other... Oh, I might need to order them by the um, by the password word. So I should probably write that one down as well so that I can later sort by that, by the, by that column. So let's make this narrower. So here we have great, then we have about, and then we have place. And then here large is an S. And then here, uh, parts, parts, no, parts is not a password word, uh, never, oh, never, that is so well hidden. So that is one, two, three, four, so that would be an I. And then teach, uh, cheat, carelessly, learn, it's the last one, so that's learn. Um, so uh, better, is better, no, usual, is also no. Good. Oh, it's good. It's always these small sort of binding words that you don't really pay attention to. Okay, screams is below, so that's the third letter. Okay, let's keep going before we do the sorting, because I want to get surprised. Uh, let's see, uh, reads? No, first, first. Okay, so first is a D, found is an O, um, every is an R, and then really is really a word? No, it's not. Um, again, oh, it's again, right? Again is uh, the third letter. Let's get rid of that. Uh, Start to calculate other, so fourth. Um, two, four, it's an F. And then here we have after, which is the second, and then house, which is the third. Okay, so now let's let's sort just these. 
and see if that forms a word. It doesn't. So let's let's sort the entire range. Ah, cooler downshift. Cooler downshift. All right, let's let's see if um if that is the answer. Cooler downshift. Ah, bingo, that is the full answer. Okay, I was going to try downshift as well, but there you go. Cooler downshift is the answer. All right, looks like we've solved cross slash pass from the Catane puzzle plethora. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm really sorry I couldn't solve this without the hints. So um, for future reference, when, when you do hunt puzzles, other hunt puzzles, not this one because now you know how it works, um, things to always look out for, right? Um, clearly the crossing letters didn't matter. So as soon as I noticed that these, you know, I would have to randomly anagram this to make something sensible, I should have known that's not that's not it. I, and I kind of suspected that it would not be it, but I plod on because I couldn't think of anything else. So the other thing to realize or to look out for is when the number of words in something and the number of letters in something associated with that match. Because then that usually means that one of those words is a special word and you need to find the corresponding letter. I've definitely seen other hunt puzzles like that. So thank you very much for watching. I really, really enjoyed this puzzle. And I really wish I had thought of this because that is a really, really clever mechanic. And I'm re very impressed that Epic Toast came up with that. Thank you for watching and see you next time here at Tim Wee Presents.